a very crazy story out there, guys, but also a very short one from the Valorant space, one that was really unbelievable when it first dropped by Jerome. If you guys do not know Jerome, actually a player agent slash manager for a lot of top names out there, some of whom are in the Valorant space. I'm talking about some killer names. And a one big thing in esports and gaming is get yourself a good agent, get yourself good management, people that look after you, and that was a prime example that Jerome put on these last couple of days as we found out that FPX was not going to be paying one of their Valorant players past March 15th, that being Angel, because of the ongoing situation with Russia invading Ukraine and the ongoing war where he actually was not able to compete for the lineup. Thus, they were going to stop paying him, which is certainly a very bold call to make, especially during a time like this for any esports organization to make this choice. Very, very bold. As Jerome one morning took the Twitter to say, waking up to a team telling me they won't pay the salary of a player in Ukraine because he is not playing as per his contract, got me sick and completely mad. F this world, business first, I guess. Absolute garbage. He continued by saying, I will pay him a salary myself if needed. This is an effing war. I am mad. Freaking mad. And also later clarifying because people were trying to make assumptions of what this actually was or what team or player this was about. He said, several people ask me if it's Mad Lions and it's not. They have been totally supportive in the current situation and I cannot thank them enough. And this was later confirmed by people like Bo as well as George that it actually was Angel, a Valorant player for Fun Plus Phoenix, set to not be paid past a certain date, that date supposedly March 15th, due to the ongoing war in Ukraine where he was not able to compete for their Valorant lineup. Now, obviously, to some extent, you can't pay a guy forever if he can't play for you. That does make sense. But this quick, within weeks of an ongoing war at the place where he is residing and living, and, and you can't extend his pay a little bit or at least have some leniency, again, a very ballsy thing to do at such a strenuous time. You've got to imagine what the player is going through, and all of a sudden the team is like, yeah, um, sorry, man, sucks to hear that. But we're also going to stop paying you because if you can't play, we can't pay. Jerome was not done there. And thanks to public backlash and what Jerome did, the community did, FPX, they folded. You know, they, they actually did apologize and they will be paying him, which is a great decision. Like, thank you, FPX. It shouldn't have come to this in the first place, but at least it was the resolution at the end. As Jerome later updated saying, the situation has been resolved and FPX will pay the full salary of the player for as long as needed without asking him to play. The CEO of FPX did apologize in person to us. It means a lot. Thanks to FPX and everyone for the support. Safety is the only thing that matters. In the end, I'm very emotional, but I'm grateful that FPX understood the gravity of the situation and made the right decision. Let's all focus on helping each other as much as possible, and we can only hope for the war to stop soon. We'll keep providing everything needed to anyone. And so, yeah, ultimately, at the end of the day, FPX made the right call. They made the right decision. It sucks what took place for them to actually have to come to that right decision. But let's not go, you know, feed into the hate and the and the mantra over there because ultimately, uh, you know, within a day, they did make the right choice. They apologized and will be play, paying their Valorant player up until, you know, hopefully he can actually compete again and continue with this roster. So what do you guys think about this? Obviously, thoughts and prayers still uh, going out there to everyone impacted by such a crazy situation. And we'll see what comes of this. And hopefully it is over soon. So until next time, drink some water, drink some coffee. I'll catch you back here sometime soon.